Menji, chief town of the Libyalem division in the southwest region, has been described as one of the kingpins of the Anglophone crisis and often called a separatist stronghold. More than one year after the Anglophone crisis, the economy of the town is now in ruins. Business is, is going down. People don't open their stores as they have, they have to open. Uh, from Monday, you have goes down sometimes to Friday. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, people don't move as they wish. Um, uh, I think uh, if I have to give my impression, it is really terrible. This crisis has caused a lot of untold difficulties. I mean, if you have to go to the market, prices of item has skyrocketed. Mobility has come to a standstill. To summarize, everything is grounded. Schools have been a major target, raised down by unknown individuals. Bike riders have often been blamed for the burning of schools, but new information now points fingers to men in uniform too. There's one common word here, ghost. You don't know who is doing what. If it be I, I standing here, I don't think I'm safe. You don't know who is who. Uh, of recent, I heard uh, some people, they caught some security men trying to ro uh, burn down uh, G uh, GTHS. I've seen it on social media, all over. In that kind of situation, what do you want me to say? If the people who are supposed to protect us are the ones who are maybe propagating violence. The resistance of the people of Libya then has been fueled by the long-time relegation and non-sharing of the national cake. A Libyan man, to tell the truth, has suffered from the hands of this government. If you look at our road from Chang to Menji, it's a distance of less than 45 kilometers. But if I tell the amount to pay, and you have to compare to other distances that the roads are good, you will not believe it. So, if you go into the government, we don't have Libya and sons and daughters into the government. So a Libya man just feel that he has, he has been relegated at the background. Other basic amenities are largely absent. In town, we don't have pipe on water. Electricity is a problem. Most of the commercial bike riders are now living in the bushes for fear of being arrested. Fear of victimization, this bike rider opted for anonymity as he recounts his ordeal. Okay, uh, I am a commercial bike rider by profession and some months back we had uh, some crisis here in Fontaine that uh, the military men were uh, bullying the, the youth, especially the, the bike riders, that they, they are the ones encouraging this strike in Fontaine. So they were like pursuing them, killing people, beating people, dragging some, broke into people's houses, locking them up. So we were forced to, to run to, to run away. So I for one and one of uh, my colleagues were in the, in the in the forest for about two weeks. Those suspected to be connected to government officials also have a huge price to pay. And the crisis affected me because he came and burned my house. He got out of my chair, born in the parlor. I did not say that he was Oshu or he or not. But I don't want to say that. Yes. I, because they said I had I was working together with the parliamentarian, but unfortunate for them, the parliamentarian was not here and some people have to leave. So in this our place. As the Anglophone crisis deepens, it is a wish for many for government to initiate frank and sincere dialogue as a way of getting out of the crisis.